You ever heard of the gospel? It's the good news. I can see me sitting in the back of a cop car banging my head on the window. Can I see? Get back! When the sky comes falling, even the sun don't shine. Hey, what's up? I'm Dallas Wade, and welcome back to another worship service. I was a Christian for 18 years, and during that time, I heard hundreds and hundreds of Christian preachers and Christian apologists talk about how persecuted we Christians were. They talked about how much the world hated us, they talked about how much the world abused us, and they talked about how much the world governments wanted to take away our religious freedom. But all the while, we met in public churches, we went to Christian schools, Christian colleges, Christian camps, and Christian concerts. We we went door to door inviting people to our churches, we watched Christian movies, we listened to Christian music, we wore Christian clothes, Christian bracelets, Christian necklaces, Christian hats, and we even got Christian tattoos. And we advertised Christianity on billboards, on TV, on the radio, in the newspaper, and even on our personal vehicles. And everyone we elected into our local government, as well as the overwhelming majority of people we elected into our federal government, were all Christian. As a Christian, I never actually saw any of this Christian persecution, but I heard Christians talk about it pretty much every week. Although they weren't actually talking about any events that were actually going on, they were just fantasizing about what they believed was just around the corner. In the Christian youth classes and Christian youth camps that I would go to, it was pretty normal for the minister to tell all of us teenagers that when we all became adults, Christianity would very likely be illegal. We might have to meet in private just to practice our faith, and some of us might even be thrown into prison or worse for trying to share the gospel with non-believers. As you can see, that never actually happened. It was just a fantasy. And now, my generation, as well as younger generations, are getting on TikTok and sharing that same fantasy with the world. And chances are that trend will continue from generation to generation, because it is just a fantasy. And it's one that's built into Christianity. In Matthew 5, 10 through 12, Jesus said, Blessed are those who are persecuted because of their righteousness, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are are you when people insult you, persecute you, and falsely say all kinds of evil against you because of me. Rejoice and be glad, because great is your reward in heaven. Christianity is literally the largest religion in the world, and because of that, Christianity also holds the most political power of any religion in the world. And because of that, Christians are not being persecuted, and Christians aren't going to be persecuted any time in the foreseeable future. Christians living today are not experiencing persecution, and they never will, and neither will their children or their children's children. So the closest that Christians can actually get to being persecuted is fantasizing about being persecuted on TikTok. And that's exactly what they do. It's cringy, it's embarrassing, and watching these TikToks makes me feel like I'm being persecuted, but I guess I'm something of a masochist myself. Yo, you want some prayer? Can I pray for you real quick? I'll pray for you right now. You ever heard of the gospel? Notice how this TikTok says when Christianity is illegal and not if Christianity were illegal. It's making the bold assertion that Christianity is going to be illegal one day. It's a fantasy. It's not based on any facts. It is just a fantasy. Well, you want some prayer? Can I pray for you real quick? I'll pray for you right now. You ever heard of the gospel? It's the good news. I got a large Bible. I got a kid's Bible. I got a medium Bible. I got a pocket Bible. I got that Larry Boy plush toy. That's not Larry Boy. Larry Boy has a purple and yellow spandex suit with super suction ears. That is just Larry the Cucumber. It's not Larry Boy. They are two completely different characters with no relation. Hi, kids. I'm Bob the Tomato, and I think that's Larry the Cucumber. I'm Larry Boy. Who are you? Uh, Larry, it's me, Bob. Bob? 
Bob, I know no Bob. I got boarding passes from a flight to Israel. I got water from the River Jordan. I'm not a dope dealer, I'm a hope dealer. I got an iPhone 6 with bootleg worship music on it. I got a crucifix with mini Jesus on it. I got Bible man's lightsabers. Whoa! I don't even know if I believe that this guy is a Christian anymore because he clearly didn't watch any Christian kids shows. That is not Bible Man's lightsaber. That is Obi-Wan Kenobi's lightsaber from episode one, The Phantom Menace, except it has like an orange, red, yellowish blade to it. Bible Man's lightsaber has a purple hilt that looks very different and it also has a very distinguished yellow blade. If you are telling your customers that this is Bible Man's lightsaber, then you are lying to them. And Bible Man does not approve of lying. Proverbs 19.5 Dishonest witnesses and liars will not escape punishment. <laughs> Face the right. Face forward. Can I see? Get back! When Christianity becomes illegal. Me and Jell, when they make Christianity illegal. Me and Jell, when Christianity becomes illegal. Again, these TikTokers are making the very bold assertion that Christianity is going to be illegal. How is this going to happen? When is this going to happen? And why is this going to happen? I have no clue, and I don't think they have any clue, but they sure are excited about being locked up for being Christians. Face the right. Face forward. Can I see? Get back! Also, I really want to point out that according to this height chart, this man is standing at 5 foot 8 inches tall, which is pretty short but not too out of the ordinary. But look at his thighs. This man's thighs are roughly 4 feet 2 inches high, which means that this dude is more leg than he is anything else. Here's what an average person looks like, and this is what Wilson Jordan looks like. Damn, look at those legs. See me sitting in the back of a cop car banging my head on the window. Christianity is gonna be illegal in the U.S. someday. What are you going to do when being a Christian becomes illegal? Again, how is this going to happen? When is this going to happen? Why is this going to happen? I don't have a clue. I don't think you have a clue. But you sure are excited about sitting in the back of a cop car banging your head against a window. See me sitting in the back of a cop car banging my head on the window. You know, at this point, I don't even think this is a fantasy anymore. I think this is a fetish. When the sky comes falling, even when the sun don't shine, I got faith in you and I, so put your pretty little hand in when being a Christian becomes illegal. When preaching the gospel becomes illegal. How is this going to happen? When is this going to happen? And why is this going to happen? Do you have any idea or do you just really like the idea of sitting in a jail cell and worshiping God while you read the Bible? At this point, I'm pretty sure that's all that it is. See when the sky comes falling, even when the sun don't shine, I got faith in you and I, so put your pretty little hand in when the sky comes falling, even when the sun don't shine, I got faith in you and I, so put your pretty little hand in. You don't actually have any facts or reason to back up the idea that Christianity is going to be illegal. It's just a fantasy, or maybe a fetish. And if it's a fetish, then, you know, that's fine. That's none of my business. <laughs> That made me really dizzy. Fuck, dude. Oh, my.
my gosh, look at this guy. He's bleeding, he's being kicked in the face, and all because he loves Jesus so much. Wow, he's so persecuted, he's so blessed, his reward in heaven is going to be so great and wonderful. Oh wait, that's his own boot on his own hand, and he's punching himself in his own face. This is by far my favorite Christian TikTok because just think about it. This guy took one of his shirts and stained it with some fake blood and then he went and laid down on the ground and put a, one of his shoes on his own hand and it had his phone in the other hand and he's just laying there in his yard just punching himself in his own face with his own shoe and trying to make a point about Christians being persecuted. And then he went and shared it on TikTok for the world to see. He definitely made a point, but not the point that he thinks he was making. His TikTok is a perfect representation of Christian persecution, but only because Christians are not actually being persecuted. Nobody is persecuting Christians, so the best thing that they can do is put a shoe on their hand and hit themselves in their own face and fantasize about what it would be like to be persecuted. This is definitely a fetish, I think. Christians definitely have a persecution fetish. It's, it's more than just a fantasy. Because this is really weird, dude. Now before I wrap all of this up, I do want to acknowledge that yes, there are some countries where Christianity is illegal, but despite that, it is completely disingenuous to use those countries as examples of Christianity being targeted. Most of the countries that have outlawed Christianity or banned the Bible are radical Islamic countries. And they haven't just banned Christianity, they have also banned all religions or beliefs outside of Islam. So it's not just Christians who are being persecuted. It's also atheists, and Buddhists, and Hindus, and Jews, and Zoroastrians, and, and anyone who isn't a Muslim. And aside from the radical Islamic countries, the other countries that have made Christianity illegal have also made Islam illegal, as well as Judaism, and Hinduism, and all these other religions. And typically the reason for these countries doing this is that they don't want their citizens worshipping anything other than their government or their dictator. So no, in 99.9% .9 of the countries where Christianity is illegal or the Bible has been banned, it's not just Christianity. It's also atheism and Buddhism and Hinduism and Judaism and Zoroastrianism and a huge list of other religions. So if you're going to say that Christianity is being persecuted in any of these countries, you also have to acknowledge that so are all of these other beliefs and religions. There is not some big Illuminati conspiracy to take down Christianity. Christianity is doing fine. Christianity is doing very well for itself. And if you are a Christian and you live pretty much anywhere on the planet with very few exceptions, you can not only publicly practice your religion safely, but you can also publicly practice your religion more safely than anyone who isn't a Christian. And in America especially, it's not Christians who have to worry about being persecuted, it's non-Christians who have to worry about Christians persecuting them. If you live in America, then your government is predominantly Christian, the customers and the management at your job is most likely predominantly Christian, and your family is also most likely predominantly Christian. So no matter where you are or where you go in America, you have to worry about Christians screwing you over, your freedom, your job, and your home life. If you're gay, if you're trans, if you're an atheist, if you're a Muslim or a Hindu or a pagan, there are places in America where you are not safe, and the sole reason for that is Christians. So yes, Christian persecution is a real thing, but it's not the Christians who are being persecuted, it's the Christians who are persecuting others. As long as there are megachurches and celebrity pastors making hundreds of millions of dollars, as long as there is a Christian billboard every five miles on the interstate, as long as the Christian music industry is generating hundreds of millions of dollars in revenue, selling the same soulless music with the same repetitive lyrics every year, as as long as there are more churches than there are McDonald's, and as long as political candidates use their Christian faith to earn votes in their campaign ads, I am not going to take you seriously if you tell me that Christians are being persecuted or that Christianity is about to become illegal. So stop making these stupid TikToks. And as always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next worship service. 
Don't forget to like, comment, and share. Also subscribe and activate that little bell icon if you haven't already. Go follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook if you'd like to keep up with me behind the scenes. And if you'd like to help support what I do, you can pledge to my Patreon or leave me a tip on Cash App. Links and information for all of that stuff is in the description down below. Thank you for all of your support, and I'll see you in the next worship service. Thank you.